It is time for the speeches. Hey. And as traditional, the person to kick it all off is the father of the bride, Mr. Chris Wolfhead. Yeah. Please, 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 please. Please don't stop. Please. Thanks, Mike. Am I on? Are we on? Are we on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Use Mike. Should we try again? Just use Mike. Okay. Hi, how are we doing? Yay! No. Have we got. You're right, you're right. You're yeah. It's all in the detail, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Hold it closer. Hold it closer, how's that? Yay! Hey. Thanks, Mike. Thanks for the intro. I've got to mention the outfit. <laughs> <laughs> Can it, does it light up? It's meant to spin. Yeah. <laughs> Still doing a bit of bingo calling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> got to make ends meet, haven't you? <laughs> anyway, thanks, Reverend Andrew and party. Yay! Ladies and gentlemen. Here we are in the swirling melting pot that is Grassmont, in the sunshine and in this fabulous venue. Yes, yes. Matt's going to do some thank yous and introductions a bit later on, but um, <laughs> I wanted to just mention, uh, Sue and I just wanted to mention Pat and Mike, yeah. who have done such a lot of work over the last six months, have been very, very generous in many ways. So, can we have a bit of noise for that? <laughs> okay, that's enough. That's enough. <laughs> anyway, thanks again. So, it's, it's time now. Shut up. Right, right, shut up. Time to say nice things about Amy and Max. And it's one of the easiest jobs we have. Our Amy, eh? Don't you look beautiful today? Yeah. That Hollywood smile is uh, really shining tonight. <laughs> Sue and I are so proud of her uh, because we know that all those beautiful things, she's beautiful on the outside and she's even more beautiful on the inside. Yeah. She's got the biggest heart. She always seems to find the best in people. And, you know, she's just our Amy, so we love her today. Aww. She's all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be quick. Uh, she was a joy to bring up on those mean streets of National Mersey. <laughs> she worked hard at school and was just a, just a great kid, really. <laughs> um, oh, I know. Yeah. <laughs> and she's always care can I get on with the speech so I can have my cheese and biscuits <laughs> and she always cared for people I remember when my dad was poorly and uh, he spent a lot of time in hospital uh, Amy and her friend Louisa um, always wanted to come with me and just spend some time from time with uh, my dad and the other patients and the staff and they really did give a lot of time and they were very patient and it just showed their character really and then a bit later on she went out to India and Australia and helped um, underprivileged kids and in a professional capacity later on she did some work with uh, troubled teenagers in East Cheshire and Trafford and then her and her mum um, kicked off the Glasshouse Theatre Company which um, helps kids develop through drama and dance. <laughs> and she even cared about me, you know. <laughs> I'll never forget, this is true, she was very little, and I was sat in the armchair looking a bit glum. Came over, sat on my knee, and said, come on, Dad, what's the matter? Are you hungry or have United lost? <laughs> I often think about it. And it's <laughs> <laughs> have we got the first picture? Where's my technical Mike. manager? Ah. Uh, Is it Amy and my arm jumping on my arm? 
Yeah, yeah well, it just remind me, the last anecdote, um, I used to work away a lot in the 80s and 90s, and uh, I got into the habit of buying Amy some dolly mixes on the way up on the motorway. Pick, Pick a mix, that was it. Yeah, yeah, it used to be dolly mixes in my day. And uh, we, she waited for me coming home, usually fairly late, and we'd get the. Yeah, of course she did, I'm not making it up. No, I know, but I didn't know you remember. And we'd sit in front of the tally and eat the dolly mixtures and, you know. But now that we got married, Matt, you'll be pleased to know we're going to stop it all now. <laughs> it's not fair to you. I come round, sitting on a knee, and you're trying to watch the football. <laughs> <laughs> and so to Matt. <laughs> and the, fa the fateful evening when uh, you know, a certain party went to the band on the wall. Yeah, who was that band on the wall? The upmarket, uh, the upmarket night spot behind the fruit and veg market in Manchester. And have we got the second bit? There we go. <laughs> and there's Foxy just wishing them all well. They've just got a very good quiz, quiz score. And they were wondering whether they could get the half past ten bus. <laughs> That's what they tell me anyway. <laughs> Is what? Ah, ah well, we won't be into the final. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that was a fatal night, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, fateful! Fateful. <laughs> fateful! Anyway, Matt's a great guy. He works very hard and he plays very hard, which is which is okay by me. Very, very good company. Can we have less of a heckling? Very good company and a great sense of humour. Being a Liverpool supporter. <laughs> Sorry, I've got that wrong. I said I wouldn't do any of those. Easy <laughs> job. Good company, great service. Full stop. Being a Liverpool supporter, we wish you all the best for the rest of the season. <laughs> and we have some breaking news actually about Matt. Um, if we've got the next video. Um, this is a, you'd be pleased to know there's a Channel 5 docudrama coming along. And Matt's got the gig. SMP, the early years. <laughs> what do you think? I couldn't leave that one out. It's a court, it? Have you got it, mother? <laughs> Sorry, mate. <laughs> The, the one with the cap in the crankies has got the, uh, the Alice, what's he called? I forgot the name. Alex Salmon. Alex Salmon. No, the uh, Nicola. Surgeon, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> the crankies. Uh, finally, Matt is a regular Pied Piper. All the kids love him. Oh, they so do love him. Yeah! <laughs> Tyler, do you love Matt? Yeah! <laughs> Who loves Grandad? No! <laughs> so that's a very good sign for me, and I know because of that that Matt's going to look after our Amy. Because she's really. She's just a crazy kid at home. So I'd like to wish the happy couple fun and laughter for today, hopes and dreams for tomorrow, and love and happiness always. So can we all charge our glasses? Please rise. We wish Matt and Amy all the very best. Bless them all. Thank you very much. Let's hear it for Chris, the father of the bride. There you go, mate. That was perfect, guys. You like that? Perfect.